Global share markets rebounded in May with the MSCI All Country World Price Index closing up 3.8% in US dollar terms after dipping 3.4% in April, its worst monthly performance since September 2023. The interplay between shares and bond yields has been a key dynamic in markets this year. US government bond yields fell sharply in May after data showed US inflation stabilised in April and the US Federal Reserve suggested it was unlikely to raise interest rates again to tamp down consumer prices. The 10-year US Treasury yield fell 18 points with the two-year yield down 16 points, both posting their biggest monthly decline since December. In the United States, each of major benchmarks registered a six positive month of returns in the last seven, all breaking records. The 30-stock Dow Jones Industrial Average crossed 40,000 points for the first time, closing up 2.3% in May for its best May performance since 2020. Leading the Dow, Apple surged 13% after the iPhone maker unveiled a record $110 billion US dollar share buyback program and beat quarterly earnings expectations. The broader-based S&P 500 index gained 4.8% in May, chalking up its first record closing high since late March and its best May since 2003. The Nasdaq Composite rose past the 17,000 level for the first time ever, prompted by a surge in the shares of AI chip giant NVIDIA. The tech-heavy Nasdaq gained 6.9%, its best May since 2003. NVIDIA shares saw 26.9%, surpassing the 1,000 US dollar per share mark after the chip maker forecast quarterly revenue above market estimates and announced a stock split. Qualcomm, the world's biggest seller of smartphone processors, reported quarterly sales and profit above analyst expectations. Its shares were up 23.5%. On the flip side, Salesforce shares plunged 12.8% to lead the Dow lower after it forecast second quarter profit and revenue below market estimates due to weak clients spending on its cloud and enterprise business products. Software design company EPAM Systems was the worst performer in the S&P 500, falling 24.4% after issuing disappointing guidance and scaled back its earnings forecast. The Aussie benchmark S&P ASX 200 index was a laggard in May, up just 0.5% for the month. Aussie consumer prices jumped to a five-month high in April, fanning fears that interest rates would not be lowered anytime soon, dampening the risk sentiment. Sectors were mixed in May. Rate-sensitive information technology and utility stocks led gains up between 3.4% and 5.4%, but the telecommunications sector was the worst performer, down 2.6%. Among individual stocks, shares of biopharmaceutical firm Telix Pharmaceuticals saw 20.6% to a record high, following positive data from trials for the treatment of prostate cancer. Digital property exchange company Pexa Group surged 19.3% after positive third quarter results, and BHP shares finished the month 3.4% higher after the mining giant walked away from its $49 billion US dollar takeover offer for Anglo-American. But it was a poor month for shares of Aussie automotive retailers. BAPCOR slid 26.5% to the bottom of the index after a disappointing trading update, while Eagers Automotive dropped 19.9% on a lower financial year profit forecast pressured by rising new inventories and elevated interest rates. Thanks for listening. For further developments on the markets, please make sure you subscribe to the Comsec YouTube channel and tune into Comsec Market Update podcast. And you can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram. 